Hello, welcome to this Top Sky introduction video, which will be on Scottish. Uh, the first thing you need to do is open a Scottish profile, which you do in the usual way through the pack wherever you've installed it. And once you've opened it, connect to the network, set your primary frequency in the usual way, and you should get to something like this. The first major thing to do each time you log on to a position that you want to provide CPDLC is to go to Setup, then CPDLC Settings. In here you put your Hoppies logon code if it isn't pre-populated, and then you click Connect, which I've already done earlier in this case. Don't change the login code because it's set up for the different positions and it enables the auto handoff to work. And once you've done that, the current message window should appear somewhere. You should all be connected to Hoppies and the magic begins. Uh, so in terms of just looking at some of the tag settings, this is the main difference. When you click on the call sign, you have a different menu here. Uh, there are some features such as highlighting. You can manual transfer to a different, to another controller. Um, there is also a handoff, or sorry, the transfer lights up when there is an adjacent controller that Euroscope is predicting. Rhino 8750, wind 300 degrees, 6 knots, runway 26, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 26, Rhino 8750. So we, to clear approach, we click CA, and then to drop the tag, we press free. Let's have a little look at some of the separation tools. Uh, if we head down here to see the interaction between two aircraft, such as these, we can see that at their closest point, they'll be 42 miles apart. It's not the best uh, example, but you right click whilst holding down Alt, click SEP, and then you can view the closest point on those. The airspace, for example, the Papa 18, all happens automatically. Same thing with uh, all sorts of radar gates, release lines, buffer zones, etc. We'll turn on CG CJI filtering, again by right clicking whilst holding Alt, click CJI filter, and we'll turn on all. So any aircraft assumed by another controller that is no longer concerning me will just show the altitude and the intention code. To just explain the tags, you have the call sign, the vertical speed indicator, the current level, the speed, ground speed with an N before it now because of top sky, the coordinated level, XFL, the intention code, the sector indicator of either the next controller or the currently assumed controller. This is their cleared level. This is their heading or their direct. And this is their speed. You can right click on the headings and directs to insert text into the scratch pad or to insert the direct. And on the speed, you can click knots to switch over to Mac and vice versa. Scottish Control, good evening. Easy 64 Tango Delta, fly level 140, direct to Nesdi. Easy 64 Tango Delta, Scottish Control, good evening. Climb flight level 250. Climb flight level 250, Easy 64 Tango Delta. Cool. So, we've received a CPDLC logon request here. We can click Accept or Unable. In this case, we're going to click Accept. And the logon now works with Easy64 Tango Delta. So for Easy64 Tango Delta, we need to wait until he's above flight level 195, which is the minimum level set for CPDLC communications. Scottish Control, hello, it's Easy85 Tango Romeo, climb flight level 140 to Gothi. Easy85 Tango Romeo, Scottish Control, hello, climb flight level 190. Climb flight level 190, Easy85 Tango Romeo. 
Now EZ6 for Tango Delta has passed flight level two five. Uh, sorry, flight level one nine five. We can give their next climb via CPDLC. Let's give it to flight level three seven zero, as it needs to be odd. We'll accept the log on for EZ85 Tango Romeo. EZ85 Tango Romeo climb flight level two five zero. Climb two five zero EZ85 Tango Romeo. If you ever want to give an instruction over RT, all you need to press is RT and then select the heading and it won't send the message. Now that EZ64 Tango Delta has replied to the climb flight level 370, it's turned green in the tag to indicate it's been accepted and it also says Wilco in the CPDLC communications window. To give a direct, let's give one to EZ64 Tango Delta, directed Dean Cross. We hover over more to reveal point and then we hover over Dean Cross, we click, Good evening. it's sent the message. Easy 468 Scottish Hello, report your passing altitude, climb now, flight level 110. Passing 5600, climb 110, easy 468. So we've got Wilco responses from both of these pilots now. We can archive those. And most things work in the same way. Assume the tag. You can also send free text via CPDLC by clicking on CPDLC free text. There's various options. When I send an aircraft to Unicom, I tend to click this first option, wait for a response, and then click free to drop the tag. Now that Scottish Dean Cross is logged online, we can transfer this track to Scottish Dean Cross. Because of the way the CPDLC works, we'll also be able to transfer the CPDLC communication to Dean Cross, as long as the next sector has connected with the right CPDLC logon. We'll now transfer this aircraft to Dean Cross. So you just hit the call sign, then transfer, and then click on the frequency. And now EZ64 Tango Delta has replied that he's moving to Scottish and it's also transferred to the next data authority which is SCO-D, like so. If you have any further questions, there's a Q&A thread in the London Area Forum or ask in the Vatsum UK Discord. That's a very basic introduction, but good luck and enjoy seamless CPDLC!